In this video, I'll show a calculation of how the volume changes because of a change in temperature. So a hot July day, this personally happened to me when I filled the steel 20.1 gallon capacity gas tank of my 1969 uh, Chevy Malibu in Iowa. The service station uh, stored the gas underground and the price was about 31 cents a gallon. I drove to a place where the car had the back where the gas tank was facing the sun, so it warmed up. I came out a few hours later, I smelled gasoline and looked and there was a small puddle of gas behind the car. Why did this happen? And uh, estimate the volume of gas that spilled onto the ground. So a crude drawing of a gas tank here and the relevant equation is the change in volume is equal to an expansion coefficient beta times the original volume multiplied by the change in temperature. I'm estimating that the gas tank that the gas service station used underground was about at 65 degrees Fahrenheit and I'm estimating that the gas tank in, in the sun got up to about 90 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, I looked up in a table for the expansion coefficient for uh, liquid gasoline, 950 times 10 to the minus 6, 1 over degrees Celsius. So we can calculate, uh, when we get the temperature into Celsius, we'll be able to calculate the expansion, but first I need to change Fahrenheit into Celsius, so uh, those calculations are 5 ninths times the Fahrenheit temperature, minus 32, um, and those numbers are shown there, 18.3 degrees Celsius for the gas underground in the tank and 32.2 degrees Celsius for the gas in the tank of the car. The change in temperature the gas gasoline experience then was 13.9 degrees Celsius, the petrol. So what was the change in volume? We take the expansion coefficient times the original volume and multiply by the change in temperature and I get 0.265 gallons. That's the extra volume that the gasoline was taking up. So is that the end of the problem? 0.265 uh, gallons of gasoline spilled out? No, because the tank also increases its volume as it warms up. And I'm assuming just roughly that the tank temperature was about 65 degrees Fahrenheit at the gas station as the uh, new gasoline cooled down the tank to 65 uh, degrees Fahrenheit and then the tank also increased up to 90 degrees Fahrenheit. So looking up the expansion coefficient for steel, I find 35 times 10 to the minus 6. Repeating again the volume of the tank times the change in the temperature. And we find that the tank increased space was 0 0.0098 gallons. So to calculate the amount of the overflow, we take the expansion of the liquid gasoline minus the extra room in the tank now. The gasoline tank in my car now has a little extra volume, uh, roughly 0 0.010 gallons. So we get an overflow of about 2.255 gallons. When you do this type of problem, you must do two calculations. You must calculate how much the liquid expanded and then how much the container expanded, whether it's a glass or uh, a steel tank, whatever it might be. Uh, just for curiosity, uh, how much money did I lose? 0.255 gallons was lost, 31 cents a gallon, so I lost about 8 cents of value of energy. More important is the pollution that it caused, and gas tanks no longer have this style where the gas just overflows onto the ground. There's a recovery system don't know the details of it, but uh, I know I've not had this problem since 1969, and I stopped filling up my tank and then uh, to the top and stopped parking in sunlight. So if you have questions about this, kind of rewind the video, do your own calculations to confirm them, ask your instructor. If you want to see some other physics and astronomy, short lectures and short example problems worked out, these two websites are free. There's a list of uh, the topics, the, uh, the videos, and each of them has a direct link to the YouTube video so you can watch it. Uh, please subscribe to my channel if you find these videos of use.